Hello and welcome to an update of the Goldilocks experiment. So today we're going to start harvesting the bins and counting the, well, actually not counting the worms. Uh, we're going to weigh them because I looked at the, my first video when I just started this experiment and I put in two ounces of worms into each bin. So it doesn't make sense to count it. I don't know what number was that we started with. So we're going to weigh them. But the first thing I'm going to do is show you that the consistency of the castings is very, very flaky. And even though the baby bin and the papa bin did tend to run a little bit uh, wetter than the mama bin, they all have the perfect consistency for sifting right now. So I don't have to um, air anything out. I don't have to wait. The worms have made it to the side with the, with the uh, new food and uh, bedding. And it'll be easier for me to just, you know, scoop them out of there and put them in the cup. Uh, so I'm going to start, of course, with the baby bin. What I have here, though, is our scale. And... This is the cup I'm going to put the worms in, and it weighs a quarter um, quarter of an ounce. So, um, if by some some uh, fluke, you know, the, the 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 machine goes off, I'll be able to subtract the uh, the weight of the cup from the weight of the worms, and that way we'll have a more accurate number and um, I'm going to sift the uh, contents of this bin first. Any worms that end up in my little sifter basket, of course, I'll put right inside the, uh, um, the cup. And then uh, the rest I'll just, once everything is harvested, I will just put everything into my 45 gallon um, bin where, I, where I'm holding all the, the finished castings. So, I'm sure you've seen me do this on many occasions. When I show you, of course, I do it with two hands, but um, I just pile up the, the material, put everything, I put a lot more. I'm just showing you guys what I'm going to do. Um, and then of course, take it here, sift it out and um, if there are any worms, like for example, right here, you see we've got worms, well, I can see them. So all I have to do is now take them out and put them in the cup and uh, just uh, keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, let me come back and show you what uh, we get in, um, in the baby bin. Okay, guys, so uh, we're not at the end just yet. Um, as I'm going through, you know, I take a little bit of this uh, side and make sure that I look through everything. And then once I get the worms out and put it in the cup, um, I put the, the rest of the material in here. Uh, but you can see, oops, I knew that was gonna turn off. Um, we're, like not even halfway there and we already have three and a quarter so subtract the quarter for the weight of the cup and some of the bedding uh, we can say that we do have three ounces of worms in there because honestly when i put the worms originally in here the two ounces of worms there were already uh there was bedding uh, in the um, in the cup as well so we can say that we did have some bedding and we have a little bit of bedding, but this is my problem. I still have all this to go through. And how do you separate all these little tiny wisps from the bedding that they are holding for dear life to? I mean, look at this. Thank God I don't have to count them, right? Okay, so, well, back to work. 
Okay, so I'm done. It took longer than I actually thought because uh, these guys just don't want to, to separate from their food and bedding. But uh, this is what's left of the material after everything's been sifted and uh, of course the, the material that they haven't processed yet. But um, this is our cup and let's zero out the scale. And we have six ounces. Of course, we can subtract a little bit for bedding. But honestly, guys, very little bedding. So in no time at all, we have Two ounces turn into six ounces and um, there are a ton of wisps this is what slowed me down uh, tiny tiny things few days old so um, we're going to put these guys back we're going to feed them I'm going to um, consolidate all the bins but these guys have been stressed enough for today. <laughs> I'm going to put them back and get the rest of these guys out of the cup and feed them and we'll move over to our mama bin. Okay, so here we are with our mama bin and we're going to do the same thing we did with the baby bin. I have my sift basket ready. I have the uh, mortar tray uh, where we sifted out the baby bin castings and then I have the second uh, mortar tray where I empty the uh, unprocessed material and then whatever ends up here is going to go back into the baby bin where I'm consolidating all the bins into so um, let's get started on this one and I'll show you what I get in my cup when we uh, finish with the mama bin. So we're done with the mama bin and I have uh, collected all the material that is going to go back into the baby bin right here. This is all the new bedding and the uncomposted um... oh, Did I see a worm? I did. Hmm. And here I thought that I took all of them out. I was pretty careful. Okay, so let's see now. We have our scale. We're gonna zero it out and see what the weight is. Four and three eighths. So we have less density of worms in the mama bin than we did in the baby bin and of course tons and tons of wisps but still really nice handful here so they basically did double and all these guys are going to be going now into the baby bin to join the rest of their brothers and sisters and we'll move over to the papa bin here's our final bin and uh, this was the bin that had uh, whole pieces of food and bedding put into it and yet still look how beautiful and flaky the material is I'm going to uh, go through the steps again. I'll sift out the castings and then I'm going to Start on uh, taking the worms out of the feeding area. So let's see what we get here And I'm finally done So this is what's left of all the uh, unprocessed bedding and we have 
six and a quarter ounces. So we also have a ton, a ton of wisps. I am never going to do this again. I am just about ready to drop. But um, again, isn't this a lovely sight? I mean, just one big, hefty worm ball. So these guys are all now in the same bin. And um, I guess that the moisture content and um, in the papa bin and the uh, baby bin was more to their liking because we had a higher number of worms in the uh, baby bin and the papa bin. So even though um, I don't really like to run my bins on the wet side, um, I think that they prefer a more moist um, environment. So I'm going to adjust uh, all my bins accordingly. So I guess the baby bin came in first, the papa bin came in second, and the mama bin came in third. But all of them did really well. All of them at least doubled in population. And um, uh, the castings were wonderful. There were no uh, adverse uh, conditions in any of the bins. So I'd say that uh, this experiment was a success. It doesn't matter how you want to put your material into the bin, small, medium, or large pieces. It all gets composted as long as your environment has, is uh, moist enough, is um, aerated enough, and you have enough worms to handle the amount of material that you are putting in. So I hope you enjoyed this series, I know I did, and thank you for joining me.